Hey guys, so I win the award for strangest place to have a beauty related video filmed because I'm sitting in the back seat of my car right now. Um, I have about a two hour chunk of time before I have to do something and I had planned to do the review of the Maybelline New York um, mascaras I got in the kit that I showed on my um, what I bought video. So this is that video. Um, the lighting's better. I, you can tell I have blue eyes this time as opposed to when I filmed it at my house because my room lighting is horrible. Um, but there's, you know, my hair kind of looks odd with the light, but anyway, that's a moot point. Um, I just thought I'd show you my necklace because I thought it's kind of interesting. But anyway, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. It was a buck. I like cheap jewelry and the chain looks cheap, but whatever. I enjoy it. Anyway, um, so I guess, oh, now there's sun hitting my face. That's not okay. I have a shirt propped up to try to block out some of the sun, but it has failed me. Okay, so here goes. Um, the kit I got looks like this. It came in this little box, and it shows you what everyone is for. And this is what was the inside. So the first, I've now worn all three of the mascaras. So the first mascara that I used was the Define Lash Mascara from Maybelline New York. Um, I had filmed this video previously, but I came across having zero personality, though I tend to come across having limited personality in my videos anyway. But it was really bad. So the brush looks like this. It's one of the rubber ones. Um, fairly small quite flexible, goes back and forth well. Uh, let's see, they have a picture on the packaging. That's what the brush looks like if it didn't have any mascara on it. So, this mascara I wore um, all day. I'm actually really pleased with the actual mascara itself, um, the formula that they use, because all three of their mascaras, they don't chip like off of your eyelashes much car they don't chip off your eyelashes much like well any um they're fairly easy to wash off and I'm just I really I like the um, formula that they use as for this particular brush it's supposed to define your lashes and it definitely does that it gets each individual lash but to me it kind of looks odd to have each individual lash um, have mascara on it. It kind of looks spidery in my mind, so, um, because naturally my lashes tend to clump together just ever so slightly, so it looks a little odd when they don't clump together a little bit. But if you are looking for your lashes to each individually be by themselves defined, um, this, I definitely would recommend this product, Define a Lash by Maybelline New York. That's upside down. Um, my color is very black. Uh, I probably won't buy it again simply because it's like $7 and I don't feel that I really would spend that kind of money on a mascara that I don't absolutely love, but if you're looking for defined eyelashes, this is your product. The next mascara that I wore was the Colossal Volume Express. Um, this mascara, the brush looks like this. It's a normal brush, it's just bigger, but not by much. It's pretty much just a normal brush, so it must be in the formula. And what's actually really bizarre and kind of fun about this is it kind of has like a flower scent. It doesn't have your traditional mascara smell. Like, it, it smells like mascara, but it has like this overcoat of... Checking my bounds. Um, it has an overcoat of like this flowery scent, so it's kind of interesting. But the brush when it's not all covered in mascara. It looks like that. Um, I actually really like this mascara. It did give me a lot of volume. Um, I'm not sure if it gave me much more volume than my mascara that cost considerably yet less, but it was a good product. Um, I like it. It normally costs $8, so I probably wouldn't buy it because to me that's not particularly reasonable. But it's a good product, and if you like, you know, if you already are spending a little bit more on mascara, then I think if you want volume, use this product because it's pretty good. I, I liked it. 
Not to mention, I can't stop smelling it. It smells so interesting. Anyway, um, and the color I have is Glam Black. And the last mascara that was in the kit that I've tried, which I am wearing right now, is the Lash Stiletto Maybelline New York. This is one of their newest ones, I believe. Um, the color I have is very black. Uh, the brush looks like this. It's pretty much a normal brush. It's just longer than a normal brush and much thinner. And it looks like this if it were to have no mascara on it. So if you compare the three, you can see that, you know, see the differences between the brushes. Um, so this product, I actually, I like it. I've worn it for the past two days. Um, it does make your lashes pretty long. It's good. So if you want a lengthening mascara, I think this is a good, it's a good lengthening mascara. Once again, for me, I'm kind of a cheap makeup person, so this one's like seven, between seven and nine bucks, something like that. So I think, you know, there's products that would do, a, you know, not quite as good of a job, but they would do a fine job and they'd cost a lot less, so I'd rather use those products personally, but it's a good product, um, yeah. So pretty much, these are the three that came in the kit. Um, if you're interested in trying them, I suggest going to Walmart and seeing if they still have any more of the kits, because normally they would cost probably around average of like $7 each, so that adds up. Um, no, they must have cost more than that. Yeah, they, well it says on the box that they're over a $25 value, which probably means they were like $25 and one cent, but anyway, um, if you buy all three together, it cost me $22, I believe, which is way more than I generally spend for makeup, but, uh, I think, you know, it's pretty reasonable if you're interested in trying them all out for yourself, and just again, it's the Lash, bleh. It's the Lash Stiletto by Maybelline New York, the Define a Lash Mascara, and the Colossal Volume. Um, on the packaging, if we read it, it says that Define a Lash Mascara is to achieve a sleek definition and length with zero clumps, and then volume and length. And they do length. And they definitely, you know, they do what they say they do. Not to the extent of the pictures of the girl's eyelashes on here. That's always a little, you know, over realistic. But anyway, so they do what they say. I think they're pretty good products. I probably won't be buying them again unless they become on sale or something. But if these are kinds of products that you like buying, go for it. I think they're, you know, they do their job. They're decent. The the thing I think I like the most about them is the actual formula. It's uh, just, it's a good formula. So I think that's a long enough video just to review three mascaras. Um, I guess that's all for now. Uh, yeah. Have a great day and have a fabulous weekend. And I will talk to you guys soon. And I'll try to put out another video um, this weekend, but... We'll see. Bye. Someone just walked by. Oh, there's someone getting in the car right next to me. This is exceptionally awkward. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here for a second. I might edit this out. Then again, I might keep it because it's kind of amusing. We will be back on track in a second. Please remain calm and seated. Listen to what your flight attendants tell you to do.